Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And before we get in it, do please hit the subscribe button. It massively helps the channel and we can help it to grow, to get the truth out and to spread the word and to give you stories like this one. Uh, it's one I've sort of mentioned earlier today. It's about JK Rowling and uh, she's in a long term, um, you know, multifaceted argument with uh, a man called India Willoughby, who we like to call still a boy, uh, because he is someone who likes to put on a bit of woman face, dress up and pretend that he's a woman. And uh, he keeps on attacking uh, JK Rowling because he's an adequate little man. She's not having any of it. She defends herself. And of course, the difference is that uh, she and I um, have got the law on our side. Thank you, uh, Miss Forstater, tip hat, because um, she went to court and won her case. And now we can call biological men, men, regardless of what clothes they wear or how they want to call themselves, because they uh, they have this delusion that they're women, but no one else has to join in in that delusion. It's a protected characteristic, not, uh, you know, uh, the, the fact that they want to dress up as women, but the very fact that we have philosophical beliefs that count in law. And that was the important case. And that was why when uh, Forstater won her case, uh, it made such a big difference to what we can and can't do. So we're going to take a look at this because uh, this, this row is spilling over. It's becoming very big um, and it's just a, an, an example of why you must never, ever get on the wrong side of J.K. Rowling. Um, not that I would, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just that the way she's eviscerating uh, this, uh, this sad man. Let's take a look. So J.K. Rowling says the police are going to be very busy after India Stiller Boy's hate crime report. And it isn't a hate crime because um, Forstater. Uh, after India Willoughby claims that JK Rowling has been reported to the police for a cut and dry offence. It has, it's not a cut and dry offence. Uh, the gender critical author hits back. No law compels anyone to pretend to believe that India is a woman. And this is the thing. She says it's a clear-cut offence. Just because it's clear-cut in India Willoughby's mind does not make it so. Uh, author J.K. Rowling said the police are going to be very busy after broadcaster India Willoughby reported her to Northumbria Constabulary for describing the trans broadcaster as a man. Now, it does actually get worse than this because India Willoughby was being um, interviewed and uh, the interviewer called him a man. Anyway, on Sunday, the Harry Potter author, writer, uh, sorry, posted a criticism of trans women being allowed into female changing rooms on X. Uh, she, the, in the thread, she spoke about Willoughby and said, India didn't become a woman. India is cosplaying a misogynistic male fantasy of what a woman is. Now, India Willoughby's going, oh, I'm legally a woman. I've had this. I've done this. I've had to change this. I've changed that. I've changed that. Now, you see, women don't need to go through a whole litany and list of things to do to become a woman. What women need to do is be born. Anyway, the 58-year-old has now told Byline TV's uh, Kaolin uh, Robertson, the Harry Potter author, had been reported to the police. Uh, J.K. Rowling has definitely committed a crime. No, she hasn't. Just because you think so doesn't make it so, Willoughby said. And I'm legally a woman. Yes, legally a woman. You yeah, might be legally. You're not a woman. You're a man. Uh, she knows I'm a woman. You're not a woman. And she calls me a man because you're a man. It's a protected characteristic. And that's a breach of both the Equality Act and the Gender Recognition Act. She's tweeted that out to 14 million followers. Yes, she's tweeted out the fact that you're a biological male. Which you are. You cannot be prosecuted for telling the truth. That's one of the basic concepts. Because when you walk into a court, the very first thing they ask you is to swear that you will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And if in your swearing you do that and you stand in the court and say, well, it's a biological man, that's the end of the case, isn't it? He'll never get there, of course, because uh, 2010, uh, 2010 Equality Act and the right to philosophical belief. Following the release of the filmed interview, and it is a crack if you see it, uh, Rowling, also 58, said that Willoughby appeared to have forgotten the four-stater ruling which established that gender-critical views can be protected in law. 
by a force data, successfully brought a case to the Employment Appeal Tribunal to establish that gender-critical views are a protected philosophical belief under the Equality Act 2010. It's the one thing that protects us and stops us uh, having to subsume reality into fantasy. Rowling later reposted the clip of Robertson in which he said to, he appears to call Willoughby him twice, which he does. And when you watch it, you, you, you'll see it. Uh, although the captions refer to Willoughby as them. And Robertson has refuted Rowling's claims. But if you listen to it, it's quite clearly him. Rowling also said in the post, extraordinary, the police are going to be very busy. Uh, and in the interview, Willoughby added, well, I've been to the police and I've reported it as an issue. I contacted Northumbria Constabulary yesterday and I've reported JK Rowling to the police for what she said. I don't know if that's going to be treated as a hate crime. It won't. Malicious communications? No. But it is a cut and dry offence as far as you're concerned. Yes, but the great thing about facts is, India Willoughby, it's the great thing about facts is they don't care what your viewpoint is. You see, facts are facts. Now, just because you have a view, I always think it's a crime, does not a crime make. She said at the end of the day, oh, sorry, he said at the end of the day, it's a hate crime. Transgender identity is a protected characteristic, just as race is, just as sexuality is. I reported JK Rowling to the police for what she said. Well, you can report all you like, but the police are going to do nothing because... J.K. Rowling and I and everyone who is not completely bonkers has got the law on our side. The equivalent of what J.K. Rowling said, calling a trans person a man deliberately, uh, and I'm legally recognised as a woman. And for J.K. Rowling to deliberately, and that's the key word to, he said, to mis misgender me, but he hasn't. Uh, she hasn't misgendered you. She's got your gender spot on, male. Uh, knowing who I am is grossly offensive. It's a hate crime and it should be treated just as somebody calling a black person the N-word or an Asian person the P-word. It's not the same at all. If you have a, a black man who says I'm identifying as white, that doesn't make him white. He's still a black man. Anyway, the Edinburgh, and it's not the same at all because here's the thing. I can call you a man and we, you say a man and man and woman, man and woman. These are words we can use. You're not saying the N-word. So they're not the same thing at all, are they? Uh, anyway, the Edinburgh-based millionaire author has said... Oh, billionaire? Billionaire author, I think you'll find. Anyway, the Edinburgh-based billionaire author has said she was advised previously that she had a legal case against Willoughby for defamation and added that there is no law compelling her to refer to the TV personality as a woman. She said, some time ago, lawyers advised me that not only did I have a clearly winnable case against Willoughby for defamation, defamation but that India's obsessive targeting of me over the past few years may reach the legal threshold for harassment. I ignored this advice because I couldn't be bothered giving India the publicity he so clearly craves. Nevertheless, we must all do our bit to combat hate. So India will be glad to know I've taken note of his homophobia, racism and humane stance on immigration. Nor have I forgotten India's shocking transphobia. It appears to have slipped what passes for India's mind that he previously called a fellow trans woman a man on this very site. Surprisingly, for such an eminent legal authority, he appears to have forgotten that the four state of ruling established that gender critical views are protected in law. And, they, and this is the great thing. Maya Forstater, that we've done the we've done the story on Maya Forstater. She was uh, she was a barrister. She was fired from her chambers for stating that. Uh, women are women, men are men, and uh, then took her employers to court and won, uh, and thus established by the by that victory that uh, gender critical beliefs are a protected philosophical belief and are therefore absolutely protected by the 2010 Act. And so I can say that India Willoughby is a man, and there is sweet fa that that man India Willoughby, or still a boy, can do about it. Uh, anyway, uh, round this off, J.K. Rowling said, continued, No law compels anyone to pretend to believe that India is a woman. Aware as I am that it's an offence to lie to law enforcement, I'll simply have to explain to the police that, in my view, India is a classic example of the male narcissist who lives in a state of perpetual rage that he can't compel women to take him at his own valuation. 
Northumberland Police have been approached for uh, have not yet made a comment. They're not going to do anything. J.K. Rowling has got it right. These men, with their strange, weird fixations, are men. And that's it. And you don't have to bend the knee. And the fight back continues. And we are winning. And it's all down to marvellous women like uh, J.K. Rowling to stand up. She's got a voice. She's got a platform. She can say things that powerless women everywhere can't or are afraid to say. She is not afraid. And that is why we need to stick with her because she's telling the truth. Now, you don't, I don't agree with everything she says. Some things are particularly left-wing. I don't particularly like. But on this stance, I'm 100% with her because there are many women... Who are not in a position to speak out and who are living often in fear and so if that fear can be eradicated then well done and I, I thank her I'll stop there I'll come up all this woke madness it really did go beyond the pale it went so far and then the pushback began and what's happening now is the pushback is much harder than if they hadn't done anything at all people were quite accepting I think but because of the how can we say, the militancy of how it was pushed, people rejected and pushed back. And the pushback and say, is going to push it further back on where it was to begin with. But that's what happens. When you act like this, you are going to suffer. And instead of just keeping your mouth shut and your head down, just getting on with your sad little lives, you inadequate men, uh, you're now going to be in a position where everybody um, is going to push back at you. It's the Streisand effect, where people just wouldn't have cared before. They're now making a note of it. But you've done it to yourselves. You push and you push and you push. And then you moan like hell when people push back. But the law is on our side. We have the right. We have the power. We can reject woke bollocks. And that's what I do. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know in the comments what you think about this whole issue. Um, is JK right? I, 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 I suspect mostly my, my, my viewers will say uh, yes, that she is. There may be a few who don't. Now, I genuinely want to hear why you think she's wrong. Um, I'm not goading you. It's I just can't see why. But if you've got a, a cogent argument, please place it. Anyway, till next time, stay safe, stay well, ring the bell, leave a like, share the video, and I will speak to you later. Bye.